Taylor Swift makeup tutorial. Um, I'm not really a huge Taylor Swift fan, but I do think that her look is perfect for um, girls for prom or um, a natural kind of wedding look. Um, so if you're interested, stay tuned and keep watching because I'm going to create this, this beautifulness. Okay, so to get started, um, I'm going to, since this is prom or this is a wedding, you're going to want to use a primer on your skin because you want your makeup to last. The one that I have is the Smashbox Photo Finish um, Foundation Primer. I really like it. And little, a little goes a long way. So I take just about a finger, fingertip amount, just rub it. And I'm only going to put it in the areas that I get the oiliest, like on my nose, on my, basically my T-zone, my forehead, and a little on my chin. And then I'm going to work out from there. So the foundation that I'm going to be using for this look is um, Revlon's Nearly Naked. It looks like, um, obviously she's on the red carpet, so she has like pretty much flawless skin, so it's full coverage. Um, I feel like with this foundation, I have really been liking it lately because I feel like I can get that and it still feels light on my skin. So, let's put some of that on. And I have the color 130 Shell. You shake it up a little bit, get a little bit on your finger, put it on your cheeks. And I usually... <clears throat> go for two, um, two layers of this, so make sure, because you're probably wearing a really open um, neck dress, neckline thing, so make sure that you blend it, because this is going to be one of those moments where um, people are going to see that line if your, color, if your foundation doesn't match completely. So just blend. So now to prime the eyes. So um, I'm going to go for my Urban Decay um, Shadow Primer Potion. Now we need to do Taylor's eye. And in the picture that I have on my computer screen, which you cannot see, um, she has, well obviously she has very almond shaped eyes, so she has like this elongated eye look which I don't have the same eyes as her because I feel like all the colors that she has on her eyes are are in this palette so I'm gonna try to do it with this one palette. my Real Techniques base shadow brush which is just this any fluffy brush will do half baked which is obviously my favorite color of the palette because it's almost like hitting pan but I'm gonna take that all over the lid she has a very warm and golden look and it really looks great with her eyes so I'm gonna take that, put it all over my brush, and pack it on. Using the same brush, I am going to take the color that is next to it, and it's small, and I'm gonna put that in um, kind of like the, well, the crease right here. And I'm going to take it and kind of wing it like in this crease outer V shape and kind of bring it down here a little bit. So just find your socket bone. Just run it through the crease. And a little above your crease. Because she seems to have kind of hooded eyelids. So whenever she like opens her eye like all the way, you're not able to really see much of the top lid. So a lot of her smokiness is coming from um, the color that she's putting like, it's hard to show because I don't have hooded lids, but a lot of the smokiness is coming from like this part of her eye makeup. Take that under whatever's left on the brush. Another just a different brush, a good packing brush. And I'm going to take um, Virgin here, it's the very the lightest shade. I'm going to put that in my inner tear duct so that I get a like, highlight.
Okay, we're gonna also take the same brush and we're gonna go back into the small right here. And we're gonna take it and we're gonna kind of um, concentrate it more under the eye because she definitely has a lot of color under the eye. Take your smog and get it really close to the lash line. And kind of, kind of connect it up to this outer part you made, your outer V part. So you have like this shape like this you're making. We're gonna go in with some black eyeliner because Taylor obviously has a winged liner um, and that will also help us create this almond eye. I'm gonna be using my MAC Black Track Fluid Line. Looks like that. This stuff is just awesome to work with. I love it. I'm gonna be taking an e.l.f. Studio Brush that looks like that. It's Bent Eyeliner Brush. You always want to start like in the middle so that's where your boldest because wherever you touch down your brush the first time is where it's going to be the boldest. So we want to, because I want it to go thinner and I'm not going to take all the product that I just pulled from the pot and put it like start here and work out. So you want to try to start in the middle to the outer part of the eye and just slowly build. So to get that almond shaped eye, um, one way to cheat it is to um, make sure that when you're lining your eye, you come all the way in to this inner corner of your eye right here, and you kind of fill it in like, here, I'll just show you. You kind of want to fill it in like that, and make sure it comes down lower. To where you have see how I have more of a point now here than I do here I don't want it to be too thick but I definitely want it to and actually a lot of people find that these brushes are kind of hard to use at first you can use any angled brush like this and this will help you get like that perfect flick so Gonna put that other brush aside and dip this into the product. Give it a little bit. Now I have my brush loaded up. Wherever my and this is gonna be kind of weird on me because my eyes kind of like go slant downwards. Um, if you have like an all an olive, if you have like an almond eye, anyways, your eye is gonna kind of turn up here naturally. But um, what you want to do is take your bottom lash line and just kind of follow it like continue that line so your bottom lash line is here and you're just going to kind of go up with it like that to get the flick so and then you can just kind of stamp it if you have this angled brush you can kind of just stamp it on there and you have your flick in place and then you just have to connect it and then I'm going to go back to my favorite one is this pointy brush. Now that I have my flick, I'm just going to connect. And there's your wing. Now Taylor doesn't have like a crazy uh, Amy Winehouse flick in this look. She just has kind of like a nice one that kind of enhances her eye shape anyway. I'm do the other eye. I want to go on and work, finish this eye up. I'm going to go back into my Nekka palette. I'm going to take Creep, which is the black in it. And I'm going to take that angle brush that I used earlier and kind of dip it in. And I want to kind of go on top of the, the black eyeliner, the gel eyeliner, with the eyeshadow. And this will kind of help set the eyeliner and also make it a little bolder and it'll help soften it up a little bit so it won't be such a harsh line like a liquid eyeliner would look okay, so magically I have both eyes done so next thing we need to do is I want to kind of intensify the crease right here right in this outer part outer part 
That's my jersey coming out. Um, and again, I'm going to take, um, I'm going to take the creep, the creep, <laughs> I'm going to take creep in the palette, kind of use the same brush that we used earlier to do the crease work and just tap just a little tiny bit of it and put it right where the darkest part, right there in the outer corner right there, blowing it in just a little bit. I just want to intensify that just ever so slightly. Bring it in. Do the same for the other eye. Not much at all. Now she has got um, a lot of shimmery stuff going on in the bottom. So I'm going to take a smudger brush that I have and I'm going to go in back in with the half baked because it's like a goldier bronze. Uh, I'm going to take it in the center right here. Just to intensify the upper lash line, I'm going to take this um, Urban Decay 24-7 um, Glide On Eye Pencil in Zero. And any eye pencil will work. You just want to make sure that it's water resistant and waterproof so it doesn't run. And I'm, oh. and I'm going to close my eye around it and run it. And then I'm going to take it on the bottom lash line, right at the lashes. I smudge a brush that I used earlier, and we're going to smudge it out into that color. That's now we're going to take the same eyeliner and get the bottom lash line. And an easy way to do this is just to pull it down a little bit and just draw right on top of it. It should be easier to get than the top. Take your smudger brush again. Just kind of... It's curl lashes. It's an absolute must. And I'm just using L'Oreal's Luminous Million Lashes in the gold tube. Just a little bit. So just tap. Gently tap. And then even after that, we're going to go in and try to take most of that off. Just want to get a little definition under the eyes. Um, she has really fair eyebrows, and, and actually in this picture she has um, some bangs, so you can barely see her eyebrows. What I'm going to do is um, just put a little bit of eyeshadow, run it through the eyebrows, just to kind of fill in any gaps that you might have. Or cut, and if you have a, a lighter eyebrow, then this is just going to be a way to kind of give you an eyebrow without having it be full on since the eyes are pretty dramatic. So you can just use your Naked palette. And um, what I'm gonna be using is Naked from the Naked palette. So I'm gonna take an angle brush, put it into the product, and kind of just fill in. Any time for concealer, and I know you guys are like, girl, you got some blemishes. So I'm gonna be taking my Neutrogena Healthy Skin eye brightening pencil pen thing. Now I'm going to take, I, I got this in a birch box, and it's Mineralogy Concealer in Ultimate Cream Concealer in U2. So I'm just going to take some of that, whatever concealer you have, um, take some on my brush and kind of put it in the spots that I need it. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to powder the skin and I'm going to be using my Rimmel Stay Matte Pressed Powder and this is in Buff Beige and it is just going to set my foundation, my concealer, give me a slight little bit more coverage and it's going to um, kind of keep the oils at bay for the night. So my favorite contour is the NYX Blush in Taupe and it looks like this. I think it's just the perfect color for really fair uh, girls 
to use as a contour because it gives like the purpley shadows that one would naturally have. So I'm going to take another e.l.f. Studio brush and this is a powder brush and I like it because it has that hard line, the edge. And I feel like it gives me a really good sharp crisp uh, cheekbone if you will. So take it right you should be able to feel where it is. Mine's right here. I have kind of like a fat face, so you don't really see it. And I feel it. So kind of like from your ear lobe, I guess. But you don't, we're not going to take it any further than our eye right here. So we're going to keep the contour like right here. Kind of stop. definitely want to use my Balm Hot Mama because it seems to be kind of like to go with like the copperiness of her eye. It's just kind of like a coral, um, shimmery, um, color, peachy color. I shouldn't say coral, peachy color. I'm going to take my angled, uh, this is just a Sonia Cachette brush, it's an angled blush brush, kind of load up my brush. And she does have it, of course. She has it on the apples of her cheeks. So we're going to like go here and out. And then to top that up, that glow, I'm going to take my NARS Albatross. And the reason why I'm choosing this one is because she obviously has like a golden highlight, a golden color to her skin. Um, I can see it in this picture. And this is like the perfect highlight with the gold. Like I have Mary Luminizer and I like that a lot, but it's more of like a pearly, pearlescent, kind of like a pinky glow. And this is gonna get you gold. This is what I love to use in the summer because of that goldenness that, I have, that it has. But I'm gonna take that and I'm gonna, just gonna take it on the top of my cheekbones. And that would be like here, right here. I have a lip liner in, CoverGirl lip liner in Seduce 210. I'm going to put that all over my lips and then I'm going to put on a Makeup Forever Professional Lab Shine Star Collection lip gloss that I have that I think is going to create the perfect uh, nude lip, nude lip that she has on. So. And then I'm going to take my lip gloss. So it makes my lips look super plump. Yeah, I think that is pretty good. Sparkling. She has some fringe. I don't have that. So I definitely think that this is a very wearable. So, um, I hope you enjoyed that video, and um, that was a really a lot of fun to make. Um, if you guys have any other celebrities that you would like me to attempt, or any other looks that you would like me to attempt, just um, send me a picture, um, email it to me, or um, tweet me, or Facebook me, or tell me in the comments below. Uh, please subscribe, and be my friend on Facebook. It's so much fun. <laughs> um, anyways, um, talk to you later. Bye. Bye.